Okay, hey everyone. So uh, I'm gonna keep this as short as I can. I'm gonna talk quick as I can. I just got home. Um, it's 12:30. Um, I stayed late today because I had to finish boron treating some cubes. Today is the final test to see if it's uh, worthy to be sold or not. I'm gonna try to convince the bosses we have one last test. Um, both of the bosses aren't convinced that people this will sell, and even if it does sell, it might compete with other products in, uh, excuse me, in a not good way. Um, so I boron treated a Hualong M3, two magnetic pyraminixes, and a GTS-1. I was going to do some GTS-2s, but we're currently all out of GTS-2s, and um, I tweaked the formula a little bit so I can generate them even faster than before. Um, I had some suspicions because uh, I've been upping the concentration and I think it does work on Chi Yi plastic, but the design of the Volk doesn't make the feeling different. Because I tried Patrick Ponce's uh, double boron treated 4x4, and what I did was I treated it twice with really high concentration, and it feels amazing. Like, at the last competition, that 4x4 is the most incredible 4x4 I've ever felt. And it was absolutely humbling that I could make something like that. I, If you go to a competition with Patrick Ponce, you have to absolutely feel his 4x4. Um, it is simply amazing. Uh, it took me five hours to make, too, so uh, I, was, I was glad it turned out well. Um, so, my last video at New York City Summer, I showed people a boron treated cube, but I didn't show them the normal one. I was going to do that at my last competition, but I was too busy getting spooked by superstitions. Um, so that's what this video is going to be. It's going to be a sound comparison. Um, even though lube and breaking in can change a cube, uh, the sound of the cube, the overall uh, frequency of the sound is the same. And different lubes will change the amplitude, but the frequency is more or less the same. Like um, the pitch, but the volume is different. So uh, this is a normal GTS-2. This is a boron treated GTS-2. Listen closely to the normal one. Uh, also, yes, yeah, stickerless plastic is a little different than black plastic, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. But even knowing that, listen to the boron treated one. And uh, the boron treated one is not lubed more than the normal one. I'm going to show you both of the, some pieces from both, just to show you that both of these are minimally lubed. I'm trying to get it to focus. But yes, um, so I didn't lube one up to make it gummier. Um, let me show you a corner, maybe that's better. Um, so yeah, neither of them are gummed up. So when I made this, GTS-1, it was a special order from Mr. Brand Mr. Brandon Satterstrom, one of the most genuine and generous people out there in the cubing game right now. Um, he basically just wanted the works. Maglev tension, boron treatment, special magnets, and I said, sure, let's do it. So these magnets are lighter in weight and uh, lighter in strength than the normal GTS magnets. It has uh, maglev tensions and you can see that the plastic on the caps is darker than the rest that's because I boron treated it and I thought to myself why would I treat the caps they don't actually touch anything but now I have an aesthetics problem but uh, as the fingers rub it the gray will rub will eventually wear off um, but with the new formula it sounds markedly different than the other GTS's so uh, this is a normal GTS um, this is what it sounds like Now, that was with teal plastic on the inside. 
this is black plastic on the inside. This is what, and just to compare and contrast these two. Now you've heard what normal GTSs sound like. This is the boron treated GTS1. I have to say, this thing feels more like a GTS2 than a GTS1. I've never made a GTS feel like this before. And I'm going to show you the pieces so I didn't gum one up more compared to the other one. If anything, the boron treated one is drier than the normal one. But despite that, it sounds markedly different. There we go, it's focused. So you can see that I did not gum one up more than the other. Um, and I see now that the surface is a little a, li a little hit by the solvent. Yeah. So the solvent softened the top layer of this plastic, and that's why it sounds different and it feels different. And I, I'm really loving the new formula. It works significantly faster, and the feeling's nice. So, you know, the bosses are still concerned about aesthetics, but um, I'm going to send this off to the amazing Mr. Brandon Satterstrom. Thank you so much for everything. And uh, if you ever see him in competition, definitely ask to try this out so you can try the boron treatment for yourself. And uh, uh, you can be the judge. Um, with your own empirical experience. So that's pretty much it for the day. I just wanted to show you a, a sound comparison and uh, wish me luck when I try to pitch this to my bosses. Uh, talk to y'all next video. Oh, also I forgot I wanted to give a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters and the ones who won the raffle. Um, thanks to your contribution, um, I actually... Let me move this so I'm, it's like I'm looking at the camera. Um, Thanks to your contributions, I actually paid off all of my debt to my boss. So thanks to you guys, I don't owe my boss any more money. That's great. So uh, I owed my boss money because he paid the deposit for my house in, not my house, my apartment. You have to pay two months rent and sometimes like security fees, things like that. So that was $2.2,000 and I only had $1,000 like after I got kicked out of school. Um, and that was my whole savings. Uh, so thanks to him, I could get an apartment. And thanks to you, I don't owe him any more money anymore. So as of today, all four prizes have been claimed. Um, so no one on the backup list got anything because the first people claimed the prizes. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to all the winners. So uh, Underwater Cuber, David McLeish, Tan Ho, and... Um, it's been a while since I've taken Spanish, but let's see if I can pronounce it correctly. I hope I pronounce it correctly. So, Pedro, Puyo, or Bello. Um, thank you all. Thanks all of you guys for all of your support. Um, this month, I want to have at least the same amount of prizes. And I think I'm crazy enough to do a magnetic big cube. So, definitely going to have a, one magnetic big cube. Uh, maybe a choice 4x4 or 5x5 and uh, a custom cube and then a tailored cube where I analyze your videos, take some of your feedback, and then tailor make a cube for whatever I think is best to suit you. Uh, and you also have the option to make it custom, no problem there. Um, so for real this time, uh, talk to you guys next video. And I'm probably going to have a haircut by then.